the rabbit is playing with her toys. <laughs> so if you hear anything, it's Poppy throwing her toys around. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jess Nipper and I am back with another bookish video for you today. Today I am going to be filming my October TBR game. Now last month I did this with my friend's dogs, you saw Nancy pick my TBR. Now I'm going to be honest with you, I read six books, you will have seen the video, I will link it to it in the iCards. I read six books but they were not all the six books that I had on my TBR, so... I am going to be carrying over one book that I didn't get to and two books that I am still currently reading for a total of three books carried over this month. That's going to be fun. I will just get them and show them off to you. I'll go through the ones that I am currently reading. One of them is a library book and that is One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. I sorted out my library card and I just saw this when I was mooching in there and I was like, I've been wanting to read this for ages. I have to read it. So I picked this one up. I am 60% of the way through. I'm on chapter 19. So I'm hoping that I can bash this out in one or two sittings. So hopefully that won't take me too long. The next book is one that I started before I got One of Us is Lying and that is Philip Pullman's Northern Lights, AKA The Golden Compass if you live in the US. I am only 19% of the way through this, but I am absolutely loving it. I only put it down because I got One of Us is Lying and that has a due date back to the library. And then finally, the other book that I'm carrying over is one that I didn't start, but that was on my TBR and that is Solitaire by Alice Oseman. I had two Alice Osemans on my TBR last month and I'm carrying one of them over so that I can at least get one of them read. So that is the next book that I'm carrying over. Hello, Poppy. She's just passing through. She will be important later on in the video if she plays ball. October's TBR, it is the spoopy season. If you've already seen it, I don't know whether it's going up before this or after this. In my Hemel Hempstead book buying recap, I said that I'd bought some books on serial killers and psychopaths and I am definitely gonna be reading those whether or not they come up in the TBR game or not. So this TBR might be hecka long by the end of this, but We'll see, I'm still unemployed, so I could get through more than six books. I could get through nine, I could get through 12. I could only get through three, but we're just gonna see. This month, my TBR game is gonna work a little differently. I've taken some inspiration from other booktubers that I've seen using decks of cards, and that is what I've done. I have taken a regular deck of cards, 54 cards in total because I am using the Jokers and they are my wild cards basically, with really strange prompts on them. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shuffle this and I'm gonna pick 12 prompts from here and hopefully the Bun Bun, who is sat just out of shot over here, hello Poppy, will choose between two prompts and we will have our final six books. Will this work out? Who knows? Will this work in my favour? Probably not. But let's get started. I've turned an old Cornish Cornwall deck that I got on holiday one year into my TBR deck. So without further ado, let's shuffle this baby. I should also say that I've got some extra prompts here so that I can switch some out on the cards because they are literally just washi tape down. So they're really easy to take off so when I decide I want to switch out some prompts I can easily. I should say please ignore the state of my carpet. This is what happens when you have a rabbit. Hay and fur and food gets everywhere. Anyway, cue shuffling montage. Okay, they are shuffled. Now, what I'm going to do is I will randomly from the deck pick out 12 prompts for this TBR game. Hello, Poppy. Hello. It's not your time yet. It's not your turn. Fluffy butt. Right, let's pick. This one seems to be sticking out, so I'm going to go with that one. Let's go with one here. Let's see what I've got. First two prompts are 
out of comfort zone or black or indigenous person of color author or BIPOC main character or characters. Okay, so they're pretty cool. Three and four <laughs> are actually numbers, three and four, that's weird. An animal on the cover versus an A to Z author randomizer. So that one will be, I will randomize the alphabet A to Z and then have to pick an author that matches that letter. Te that is five and six are a big book of 600 pages plus versus a middle grade. Seven and eight are a retelling versus a horror. <laughs> That's, oh, I hope Poppy picks that one because I don't read a lot of horror. That could be quite interesting. Nine and 10 are a sophomore book. So an author's second book versus a rom-com and then 10, <laughs> 11 and 12 are wildcard read versus a narrator generator number of. So that will be number of narrators per book. So I'll have to find a book that has either one or two or three or even more narrators. Okay, let's get the bun in. I think somebody's a little bit sleepy. Just a little bit. A few moments later. So the little miss is awake now. Let's grab my cards. Let's see what Poppy picks. Oh, Poppy Bear. Hi, Bubba. Hello. Oh, the fluffy baby. Right, so the first two. Out of comfort zone or BIPOC author or main characters? Which one? Oh, <laughs> okay. First one she's picked is out of comfort zone. Next are an A to Z author randomizer or an animal on the cover. So which one? <laughs> Give it back. Give it back. All right, she has picked a randomizer. A to Z author. Big book or a middle grade pops? Which one? Which one? Oh. Yep. That is middle grade. Next one is a retelling or a horror. Poppy. Which one? <laughs> a horror book. <laughs> Next is sophomore or rom-com. Which one? Okay. <laughs> she has picked a sophomore, so an author's second book. And last but not least, narrator generator, picking a, a number of narrators or a wild card. Okay. Which one? Oh, okay. And we have a random number of perspectives or narrators in a book. Thank you. Thank you, little lady. She says I've not been allowed to nibble the cardboard. I'm upset now. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Oh. What's this? Poppy. Poppy. What's this? Good girl. <laughs> oh, she runs with it. So now all I've got to do is find out what books I want to read for those prompts. Hmm. I'll get back to you on that one. 20 minutes later. I have the bun right by my feet right now. But I have come up with my TBR for October. So I'm going to go through these just because this is the top one on my pile right here. It wasn't the first one that was picked. But for the narrator generator, the number of narrators in the book, I came up with two and I looked up on Goodreads for dual perspective novels and apparently I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson, I think that's how you pronounce her name, is a dual perspective novel so I will be listening to the audiobook of that because I downloaded that ahead of potentially having that as one of my prompts last month so I will be listening to that. The next prompt I have is an A to Z author name randomizer and that came out as the letter M so I didn't specify whether that was going to be first or last name so what I'm doing is it is going to be last name and I'm going to be finishing off One of Us is Lying by Karen M McManus. So 
two M's for the price of one. The next book that I have for these prompts is Out of Comfort Zone. So I'm reading The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, which is science fiction that my friend Zoe recommended to me. So I'm gonna be reading this. It's one that I got from Hemel Hempstead. If you haven't seen that video already, I will link it in the iCards. Next prompt is a sophomore book. And I'm taking this as a sophomore series rather than a book because I would have picked the second in the Air of the Folk trilogy, but I don't actually own it and I'm not allowed to buy any more books this month. So what I'm doing is I'm treating this as a sophomore series. So I'm going to be reading the first book in the Demon Road series by Derek Landy because I started this a while ago and I never finished it because I was still hung up on Skullduggery at the time. So I'm going to be starting the Demon Road trilogy and hopefully blitzing my way through them as well as the rest of the Skullduggery series. Next prompt I have to hand is the very chewed up horror prompt. So I am finally getting my teeth into, pun intended, Dracula by Bram Stoker. I've had this for years, never read it. So I'm excited to get into some proper horror stories and I love me a good classic. So tick this one off the old list. Finally, the next the last prompt that I have is a middle grade book and because I'm still making my way through rereading this series, I'm going to be reading Resurrection, which is book one in phase two of Skullduggery Pleasant, book ten overall, so I can get through the rest of these and finally read Seasons of War. My Skullduggery Pleasant epic, <laughs> just hit myself in the face, epic... My Skullduggery Pleasant epic reread vlog will be coming out by the end of the year. I am determined to finish this series by the end of 2020. I refuse to go into 2021 without having read Seasons of War. That is my goal. That is the only thing I'm going to hold myself to this year is that I finish rereading this series. So yeah, this is my prompt for middle grade. I adore this series, as you well know, if you've been around this channel for any amount of time. That concludes my TBR game and my TBR for October. I will just hold this up so that you can see how monstrous this TBR pile is. And knowing me, I'm probably gonna add to this because I want to reread, not reread, I want to read two Christopher Berry D books. Those are Talking with Female Serial Killers and Talking with Psychopaths and Savages in the month of October because it is appropriately spoopy. So we will see how well I do with this. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and also please remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified when I next upload a new video. My last video will be floating around somewhere as well as a place for you to subscribe and I will see you in the next bookish video. Bye guys! Thank you.